Hello again, Tracy Williams here. Your success coach, results expert, and your partner in believing. Believing that you and I can create a life that we would love living. And I'm blessed to be able to share information with you and to interact with you and to learn from you and hopefully provide information that you also learn from. And I've been pondering a story for a couple of weeks now that a friend of mine shared with me. This particular friend it just is was blazing busy one week and she creates a blog actually not too dissimilar to my weekly Wednesday messages and she was really blazing busy she does her message on Fridays not on Monday and she only had a couple of minutes to write and to post the article and she had to make a decision am I gonna write and post something that might not be perfect or do I skip it for this week? But she decided to write it because her clients, quite frankly, she gets a lot of great feedback and her clients love it and she really felt that she would be, um, that, that it would be missed, you know, by some if that she didn't do it. And it was interesting because she blazed through it, she did it in a hurry, and within minutes of the posting, she noticed that someone had already liked it and someone else had shared it on Facebook. And I can imagine that she was like, Phew. You know, she was running out the door to a big event and that once again she has succeeded in serving her clients. And then when she got home, she received, she opened her email and there was an email from someone that had informed her that the content of her blog was okay, but it seemed to not have as much thought put into it as her blogs generally do. And that, by the way, there's a couple of typos. And she was kind of devastated by that in a way it was like my gosh you know maybe I shouldn't I shouldn't have taken that action and then she realized something that both of us believe and teach is that we have to take action even if it's imperfect action if we're going to move in the direction of our dream we have to take massive imperfect action but the reason that this story stuck with me is that I started thinking about what it is that what is it that we focus on? What is it that I focus on during the course of the day? What is it that you focus on during the course of the day? Uh, several people had had shared the blog so that we know I know that those people she knew that those people were focused on the core message that were focused on the wisdom that was being delivered. However, the individual that was seemed to be caught up in the fact that there were typos was focused on what was wrong with the blog post. Now I ask you this, which of my friends' readers do you think is attracting into their life more of what they want? And which of those readers is attracting more of what they don't want? I know that you're guessing exactly what I was guessing. And here's the thing, I'm also guessing that that individual that was focused on the content maybe not being as well thought out or focused on the fact that there were a few typos in it, really felt that she was serving really believed that from her heart that it was her position that her that constructive criticism would serve my friend in her future endeavors but the thing is and the thing that I wanted to share with you today is that her judgment of that blog or her judgment of what was said her focus on what was wrong is actually impacting her energy in a negative way it's actually pushing what she wants in life further away from having it come to her. She's stopping, it's like she's closing the gate on the good that's really trying to come to her. And that's true for all of us. So this week, I would like to invite you to take your cell phone and set it for every hour that you're awake. You can do, I would, I would love it if you would do it for a week, but if you wanna try it for a day, try it for a couple of days, literally set it for every hour of your waking hours. Take 10 seconds. 15 seconds, 30 seconds when that alarm goes off and stop for a minute and notice what you're noticing about what you're focused on. Say, what have I been focused on for the last hour? Does it feel contractive or does it feel expansive? If it feels expansive, you're focusing on what's gonna move you forward. If it's feeling contractive, having that alarm set every hour is gonna help you really see how many hours a day, how many times, how many minutes are you spending being focused on the things that aren't moving you forward. And as we become more aware, we then can shift those things because awareness is the first step in shifting it. You might be surprised at how much time you're spending focus on stuff 
that seems benign and yet in actuality like what this woman was focused on is actually pushing her good away. So the great news is that once we are aware of a habit, we can start to shift it. So by going through this exercise, you're going to start to be aware of what your habits of thinking are and then we can start to shift them because habits can be changed. So here's to new ways of thinking and here's to recognizing habits that aren't serving us so that we then can start to shift them. Have a terrific week.